I'm Abby, and you may have seen me vlogging away, doing talks, hosting events, making music, and helping those with alopecia. But if there's one common thing that unites all these passions, it's women. I have long wanted to produce and host a show about what it is to be a woman, a Filipina, a hero. And so I took our iconic literary image of the Filipina, Maria Clara, and chose to explore its meaning, its impact, its heart and soul. Hope you could join me on this journey. Let's begin to witness the rise of the new Pinay. Her story starts now. that I want people to know about me and somehow resonates my journey as a woman. It's my body. It's my size. Because people get to really underestimate me and belittle me because they see me, I'm so small, I'm so petite, I'm young looking. Akala nila, hindi ko kaya. But there's so much beneath me. I'm a one-woman team. I can do a lot of things. Ang dami kong nagagawa. What makes Filipinas stand out? Their capabilities to do what men can do. Kaya natin. May isa tayong salita eh. Alam mo yun? And we stick to it. Parang may paninindigan tayo. When we say something, gagawin natin. Kapag may gusto akong matupad ng pangarap, gagawin ko. Hindi tayo tamad eh. Di ba? Masisipag tayo eh. Kaya nga, kilala tayo mga Filipinas all over the world na masisipag na pagkakatiwalaan din tayo with our decisions, with our desires in life. Maaasahan din tayo mga babae. It's not about the numbers. It's not about your size. It's not about your weight, your height. But it's about how pure your heart is. It's all about kindness, how you treat other people, how you are to your loved ones, how you see yourself, my worth and my value. I see it as from God. So Chris, kilala ka ng mga tao bilang sobrang busy as an actress, endorser, vlogger. Wow. <laughs> Why do you still have so many businesses? Um, siguro kasi, uh, being in the entertainment industry for more than 13 years now, mm -hmm. there came a moment or time na parang ayoko lang maging artista. Mm -hmm. Gusto ko magkaroon ng ibang kayang gawin. Na-inspire din ako sa mga babaeng may mga sariling negosyo. Mm. So sabi ko, bakit hindi ko subukan? Yeah. Hindi ko natapos yung nursing ko. Mm -hmm. So parang gusto ko rin patunayan na, ay, may iba pa akong kayang gawin. Considering na sobrang busy mo na, sobrang hands-on mo when it comes to your businesses, how do you still find time for that? Yung talagang tinututukan mo lahat ng bagay. Iba kasi ang malasakit ng isang business owner eh. Ikaw, nagtayo nitong negosyong to, yeah. alam mo yung bits and pieces ng negosyo mo. Mm -hmm. So kapag pinapasa ko sa ibang tao yung trabaho, teka, nakukulangan ako. Mm -hmm. Source of joy namin, yung nakikita namin happy and satisfied yung customers mm -hmm. namin. Kasi alam namin na kami gumawa nun. Yeah. Kapag may araw ako na hindi maganda or parang pagod na pagod na ako, alam mo, nagbabasa lang ako ng reviews, Mga comments. comments, ratings nila. Parang, mm -hmm. say ko, ay, may ginagawa akong tama. Napa-fuel ka. Oo. Tama yung ginagawa ko. Ganon. Ganon yung ano, effect niya sa akin. Mm -hmm. Nabanggit mo, Chris, na it really takes a lot of hard work, dedication, mm -hmm. to be on top of all your businesses. Meron bang moment na hindi mo na kaya? Gusto mo na mag-give up? Nung gusto kong simulan yung She Cosmetics, hindi ako sinuporta ng family ko. Oh. Yeah. Ayaw nila akong mag-invest ng money. Totoo lang, nag-away-away pa kami. Mm -hmm. Alam mo yun? Siyo ko lang mag-isa. Nilaban ko siya eh. Naniniwala ako na kaya kong gumawa ng produkto. Mm -hmm. Naniniwala ako na kaya kong kausapan itong mga Korean suppliers ko kahit hindi kami nagkakaintindihan. Yeah. Nabuo ko ang She Cosmetics. And after that, natuwa sila sa akin kasi nakita nila yung passion ko. Nakita nila nagpupuyat ako. Yeah. Binubuhas ko yung oras ko, yung energy ko. From that time, alam mo, tinutulungan na nila ako. Mm -hmm. Kaya mo mag-decide on your own. Yeah. And I know a lot of people are struggling with that, listening to their own voice. Ikaw, ano yung driving force for you to keep going. Yung produktong ilalabas ko, mm -hmm. yung negosyong 
katulad ko. Mm-hmm. Buong-buo siya sa utak ko dahil pangarap ko magkaroon ng cosmetic line. Dahil gustong gusto ko magkaroon ng sarili kong line of lipsticks. Alam ko na laging problem sa lipsticks, madaling matanggal, mm-hmm. nila gusto yung mga ganitong colors. Alam mong may kailangan yung mga babae. Gusto mong bigyan ng solution. Yeah. Yun. Yun din yung parang nag-drive sa akin na, ah, okay, gagawa ko ng product na para sa sa'yo. Ganun. I think that's one thing that entrepreneurs or pioneers need to understand also is don't get into something na wala kang passion for, na wala kang yes. masyadong alam. Okay lang naman na aralan mo siya along the way, no? Pero it should be something na parang kahit pagod na pagod ka, yeah. gagawin mo siya kasi gusto ko siya. I know Chris that She Cosmetics is about inspiring and empowering other modern Filipinas. Bakit yun yung naging direksyon ng makeup line mo? So at first, parang I decided na Chris Bernal Cosmetics. Along the way na ginagawa ko, tinatayo ko yung She Cosmetics, naisip ko, bakit hindi ko i-relate yung journey ko sa mga babae? Kaya ko siya pinangalan na she mm-hmm. kasi parang I want girls to relate to my story. Yeah. You can be a one woman team. Yun yung actually pinaka meaning ng she. Eh. Kaya mong gawin lahat. Yeah. Kahit gaano kahirap 'yan, dahil gusto mo ipaglalaban mo para ganon. So gusto ko ma-inspire sila doon na at any age or kung ano man yung capabilities mo, pwede ka magtayo ng business. Mm-hmm. And then in the future hindi mo masasabi, CEO ka na, 'di ba? Yes. yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> Iniisip mo ba before, yun talaga yung goal mo na maging CEO, to go out of the Philippines, na talagang maging kilala yung She Cosmetics sa buong mundo. Ako gusto ko talaga, pinag-aaralan ko na kung paano. Nakikita ko yung mga raw materials, ingredients, dito sa Pinas. Mm-hmm. Kaya lumaban ang Pilipinas pagdating sa beauty. Mm-hmm. Ako naniniwala ako that Filipinas are world class. Dahil palaban tayo at mm-hmm. hindi tayo magpapatalo. And I really believe in that, Chris, dahil ikaw ay isang world class Filipina. Yes, hindi ako nagpatalo, no? Naman. <laughs> If there's one main takeaway that I learned from Chris, it's that as a pioneer, you're the very person that needs to believe and fight for your dreams. Regardless of the circumstances or what other people might say, if you have a clear vision of what it is that you want to achieve and an intense passion for it, paniwalaan, panindigan, at ipaglaban mo to. Love what you do. Find time. Work hard. Be kind. Always push yourself to grow and become better. Your commitment and excellence will prove to everyone that it was right for you to listen to your inner voice all along. In the end, your biggest critics will become your biggest fans. Soon enough, we will come to realize that it's not so much about starting a business or pioneering a great idea, but it's more about making others feel alive, building people up, and letting people discover the pioneering spirit inside of them. Stay tuned for another aspect of the modern Filipina that we're going to be celebrating in the next episode. For the meantime, all you modern Maria Claras, keep on hustling, keep on inspiring, keep on rising.